He knows how to put his punches together. He's done a nice job of going to both the body and the head. This is amateur boxing. You don't see that as often at this level. We're also overlooking the fact that Ali is only 18 years old. That's right. One of the strange things, guys, for me sitting here, I didn't think that I would actually sit here and try to view this weight class. But when I was boxing, I used to look at guys like Howard Davis Jr. in my weight. Now I'm looking at these guys. And you can't help but see the, the transformation of how the tournament how the weight classes have gone throughout the years. You know, Howard Davis was a real fast guy for a million punches. My era came around, we slowed down with the punches, set down a lot on punches. Now Saddam Ali is getting back to fast combinations. Is he, a com is he a combination of both though? Speed and power? I do, I do. And, and it's also the opponent. Brian O'Connor has not really given him too much to worry about. And it's a bit disappointing. You expected more out of him? I did. I expected him to jab, co be committed to the jab. Because Saddam Ali, although he comes in and throws combinations, if you notice, he comes right in at you, yeah. just like that. Yeah. He comes right in. So a stiff jab to offset all of the combinations. It seems like all of O'Connor's punches are loose, going around him instead of right down the middle. And he slaps a lot. You've yeah. seen the right hand there, but it was a slap. Twenty-five seconds remaining in the fourth and final rounds of the 132-pound open title between Saddam Ali in gold and Brian O'Connor in blue. Gentlemen, how do you have it scored so far? I have it all, Ali. Four rounds zip, Saddam Ali. He just wanted it more tonight. He stayed aggressive and fluent. That's about as close as a statement you can make without scoring a knockout. Dom Ali out of Havoc Boxing, Andre Rozier, his coach. You must be out of your system. I didn't see you flinching or throwing any punches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been out of my system for many years now. But I love to watch the young amateurs. Both of these guys, what, 17, Brian O'Connor, 18, Saddam Ali. And I think Saddam Ali has a bright future. I think Brian O'Connor has to go back to the drawing board and just try to figure out and understand what it is he needs to do in there. Saddam Ali looks just like three-time Golden Gloves champ Gary Stark. Could be his twin brother. Stable mate. Kid Stark. It's like looking in a mirror. Andre Rozier. Trans Curtis Stevens, Jadon Coppington. And also what I like to see in the, in, in the Golden Gloves tournament, look at Saddam Ali there. He's not even breathing hard, which means he took this serious, he put in the work in the gym, and he came prepared. The 132-pound open champion is from the gold corner, Saddam Ali. So Saddam Ali wins the 132-pound open title he won both the daily news and national golden gloves in 2006 he wins once again in 2007 brian adams three-time champ thank you very much for joining us thank you guys thank thanks for having me and i think they'll do a great job in commentating and, and just displaying to the public the importance of amateur boxing all right thank you so much brian Saddam ali defeats brian o'connor and wins Another pair of Golden Gloves. The 132-pound open. He defeats Brian O'Connor. Ali, very focused, in shape for this fight. And right now, he's standing by with our Tony Page. Thanks very much. Yeah, because me, I'm the type of person I like to dig in. And I hate to lose. I always want to win. So I just work hard. You ready for the Olympic trials? I'm definitely ready for the Olympic trials. I've been working real hard. You know, I just got to win the USA Championships, and I'll be in there. Very nice. Let's go to ringside and Gus Johnson. All right, Tony. Saddam Ali, terrific-looking prospect as he defeats Ryan O'Connor. Coming up, more.
Golden Gloves action from Madison Square Garden.